drops per minute, dosage calculations. Oh, man, these are always a challenge. But don't worry, Professor Rich are in here to help you and we're gonna go through a problem right now so you can master safe dosage calculations and pass your exam. So the one we're gonna deal with today is a, a drops per minute IV question. So as you can see, we have a 60 year old male patient who is admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of peptic ulcer disease, PUD. The healthcare provider orders an intravenous piggyback of a Zantac, 50 milligrams, um, in 50 ml D5W to be administered over a time frame of 30 minutes. The primary nurse notices that when the IV tubing has a has the IV tubing sorry has a drip factor of 15, the nurse is responsible for setting up the IV infusion controller to regulate the flow of that medication. How many drops per minute should the nurse set on that IV infusion controller to administer the IV piggyback correctly? Ooh, this one sounds a little confusing, but but don't we got this? Okay, so look at our formula. We have drops per minute. Okay, so here's our formula. We have equal total time of infusion in minutes, um, the infusion volume times that drop factor. Okay, and it's gonna, it gives us most of this information. All right, so here, total time of the infusion over the um, volume. So we have uh, 30 minutes is what it says it wants to be administered. And then the Zantac is 50, millig is 50 milligrams, okay, per ml. Um, 50 milligrams per ml, okay? And so what's our drop factor? Okay, it also tells us that, uh, that IV tubing drip rate is 15 drops, okay, per minute, or uh, sorry, per ml. So now we can see in our equation up here that the milliliters are going to cancel each other out and we're gonna be left with drops per minute, which is correctly what we want. So when you go ahead and do your math and go 50 times 15 and then divide by 30, you get 25 drops per minute, okay? Hope you have a wonderful day.